running 18 times. That's a new record. And as Frank Vassalero found, the actors are flying first class. Peter Pan hasn't grown up. And now, decades later, is still singing, dancing, and yes, he can still fly. But flying is harder than it looks. Egan Community Theater hired a Las Vegas special effects company to install the rigging and train the flight crew. Uh, they did send Peter Pan crashing into the wall a good number of times on the first night and then fewer times each night. So I think she's uh, picked up a few bruises along the way, but now I think they have it down to an art form. Get me way up high, suddenly here am I, I'm flying. Every time Peter flies, there's a flurry of activity backstage. People pulling the ropes can see through paintings on the set walls to watch what they're doing. The most difficult thing for us is she has to land on the doghouse on stage left and on the mantle stage right. We get her very close to the side of the set. And also during the flight itself, we try to get her as close to the pieces of the set as possible without actually hitting. At one point in the show, four young actors are flying together. But Laura Osnes playing Peter gets the most airtime. It's so, so amazing. It's hard because um, you're at the will of the people who are flying you. I basically have no control over what I'm doing. I just have to flutter my legs and try to look graceful while the two guys backstage haul me from left to right and up and down. At the end of the show, Peter even flies out over the audience, pixie dust and all. It's really magical. It's such, it's such a fun experience. Peter Pan is now showing at the Egan High School Auditorium. It'll run through August 5th, and you can get tickets and showtimes online. We've got all the details for you on links and numbers at WCCO.com. And that does not look like a community theater or high school production. That looks good.